up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we're gonna be looking at the new year deck of fate and yeah i'll show you how i like to do it so i like to sort of work from the edges and work my own maybe we'll get lucky but yeah fingers crossed show you a bit of strategy that i use even though it's all luck based and let's have a look at the rewards that are up for grabs so literally the only thing that i care about here is the skill tomes that's the only thing that's really of value here but there's also a chance to get Gwendolyn the Silent. So basically this pretty, pretty cool looking owl champion. Um, so let's have a quick look at the kit. So you've got a passive. So the more accuracy we have, the more crit damage we can get. So say we got 200 accuracy. That's an extra 20% crit damage, which is very, very nice. Um, but also grants an extra turn after the champion uses three any, uh, so it uses any three skills. So basically, we'll do like three of our abilities and then we get an extra go, which is pretty nice. Uh, A3 is going to increase our accuracy. So again, this is going to help increase our crit damage. Throwing out block debuffs as well, which is kind of nice, but I don't know. I'm always... I don't like to use it on Hydra because it can get stolen and cause issues. Uh, but yeah, it looks like... I think this champion is built for Hydra. Definitely not going to be great for Arena. But yeah, PvE content and Hydra, I think, is where uh, Gwendolyn is really going to shine. Um, A2, attack to enemies, decreases speed, throws out a leech, and decreases accuracy. So again, I think I'd probably go open up with the A2, so we're decreasing the accuracy on the head of Mischief, and then we can increase our accuracy so we don't get that stolen from us. Um, but yeah, looking at all this utility, though, definitely, to me, it just screamed Hydra, you know, Decreased speed on Hydra is amazing. Um, Leech, great for healing on Hydra. And decreased accuracy, it helps on all of the heads, like Poison, the Head of Mischief, and so on. Uh, A1, attacks one enemy three times. Each hit has a 3% chance to extend the duration of all debuffs on the type of one term. So it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, they're still pretty new though, so not sure how good they're going to be on Hydra. So if we get them, it's nice. But yeah, it's just a nice to have. So down here, if we skip down, like at the end of the day, you know, what we really want to be going, and you have to get really lucky. And I think there's only, let's see, if we scroll down, it sort of says here, there's only six epic cards. So you have to be really, really lucky to flip three in a row. But if we do, you know, you'd want, for me, it'd be the Eternal Soul Stone, the 500 gems, the legendary skill tome, and the mythical stone uh, skill tome would be what you want to get. Um, really funny, like basically that 500 gems. If you just compute, uh, if you just do it for energy, that's going to be about 1700. So you're getting an extra 700 energy over if you got the flat 1000 energy. But yeah, anyway, let's go for it, guys. Fingers crossed. Straight off the bat, we got an epic. So. I'm going to sort of go to the edge and we've already broken it back to commons, but back to rares, back to common. This is not a good start. So I'm going to sort of work my way in. And this is just going horribly wrong. All right. Hopefully you can get another comment. No, back to rare. Oh, back to common. Back to rare. Wow. This is just going horribly, horribly wrong. You see, we put up a few fragments for Gwendolyn. Oh, another epic. All right, legendary skill tome. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we want. Nice. Two legendary skill tomes, and we picked up 750 energy. Awesome. That's what you want. Yeah, so we've got both the skill tomes. That's all we really need. Um, I'm not sure how far we are off getting Gwendolyn. Um, let's just come out. I think I think we can pull her. No, not even close. <laughs> not, not even close. All right, guys. Uh, let's just hop back in. Okay. Back on the, the commons. Yes, nice. 
again, some more energy. You know, you can never be upset when you pull energy. And we've got Dragon Tournament going on at the moment. Uh, triple tight, you know, triple X speed. I mean, this is a great time to start burning energy. And this is going to be my last one. Also got that Mortal Soul Stone as well. We've got both Mortal Soul Stones, which I'm always happy with. And we got another epic. Um, so we're out. We're not. We're, we're out of uh, Christmas cookies. We're not going to be able to work our way through. But um, yeah, so what, what I would sort of do is sort of work this corner across and then try and get lucky. But wow. I mean, we did pretty good. Pretty pleased with that. Um, yeah, I might pull Sacreds this weekend if I've got the time. I've only got 10, though, so it's probably worth holding off. I mean, I'm not that desperate to get Gwendolyn. Um, yeah, probably, probably, I probably will skip it. It's time to save now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Good luck with your Deck of Fate pulls. Hopefully, you know, you get those legendary skill tomes. Get get the Mortal Soul Stones and get as much energy as you can. And if you're really, really lucky, get that legendary skill tome, get that mythical skill comb. Uh, that's what we're talking about. And the Eternal Soul Stone as well, because why not? But yeah, I've been the real deal. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.